In today's video, it's day one, Junior Nationals. That's okay. A lot of overachievers are, so. Alright guys, so it is Friday morning and we got up pretty early today, got a bunch of work done, and um, we're here at Lance's gym and uh, we are meeting none other than Ed Cohn and I'm hoping he's gonna help me because I've been trying, as you guys have seen, to kind of transition to like a hybrid style of deadlifting. I think it'll be good for me. And Ed Cohn is known for, you know, I might even ask him, I don't know if he invented it, or but he was definitely one of the first people to use the sumo style, like hybrid, not a full sumo, but a hybrid. Um, and I believe he deadlifted 904 pounds at 181. Uh, that's why he's known as the greatest powerlifter of all time. I believe he won world titles at four or five different weight classes and holds records in four or five. He's, he's just insane. So this is where he's at. We're going down here to like a gym underground. shape I would be able to sit up and as soon as I got tight 700 pounds would actually start moving off the floor before I even tried right, to pull just by getting that's the slack tight. out of the bar yes but when you get the slack out of the bar it's just not pulling against the bar it's right. pulling your body into the right. bar with it getting the so whole it's not body pulling the slack out of the bar it's pulling the slack out of your body too yeah. so when you grab it is what I taught like Chris Duffin when you grab it here and take the slack out of your body Working yourself in tighter. Now you see your doctors. Yeah. They're ready to fight right away. Whenever you do an exercise or a movement, it should feel like the body wants to do it in a natural way. Right. You shouldn't have to push on this or do that. Yeah. But if you open up back there, your taint, your butt hole, whatever, you're growing yeah. way up high, the knees come up naturally and everything yeah. Use your hips a little earlier. There you go. Now using your hips, big hips. Big hips earlier than you earlier. Yeah, I'm thinking after my knees. Then it, then it happens too late. It's think before your knees. That's better. Hi guys, so uh, working a little bit today on changing my deadlift to a sumo style approach. For no other reason than longevity. I really just want to find what's optimal for my leverages. So I'm testing it out, seeing how it goes. The thing is you have to commit to it. So I've been kind of doing one or two sets per week, not really committed to it. So it's time for me to actually be more consistent. You know, obviously Ed just gave me some great tips, things I need to focus on. So I think going forward, I'm gonna start with sumo. Maybe add in some conventional after just for volume work, but you know, to see if I really adapt to it, it's nothing you can do, but actually, use it and not be half in half out just like with anything else in life. so probably gonna do one more set sumo style and then go back to the conventional and then get lower body strength. Yeah, they would like come in my work. 
elbows down just a little bit. There, right there. Now sternum and chin up. Sternum and chin, sternum and chin, sternum and chin. Nice, there you go. A squat isn't just, just push with your legs. No, you've got to drive with your back or else your hips won't come through. Yeah. going on guys we just got done with pre-judging here at NPC Junior Nationals in Chicago and uh, mixed results um, I'm always happy with the effort my clients put in every one of them looked amazing today I was really happy with how they looked how they performed how they posed um, two first call outs and uh, a second call out and a third call out so the big thing with these national shows is it's so competitive you just really want to make sure that you put your clients in the best position to do well and beyond that, you don't have a lot of control. There's no defense. You don't put any control into who else shows up. And so I'm real excited to see how things go in the finals. But the most important thing for me is that we brought the best package possible with each girl to the stage. And we'll just let the chips fall where they may. I'm excited to see, um, to see finals, see a little bit more of Chicago. And we'll talk more specific about the results tomorrow night after finals. And we'll get some interviews with the girls for that. So. Let's go get some food, Chad. If I told you how all this would wind up, you say that's a stretch. I saw the signs and delivered my best. You can't drop the ball, I guess that's the catch. And this ain't a coin toss, but I work my tail off so I could turn heads. Don't you forget, I told them you never know. They don't get the picture like they service us. Bet they hear me now, yeah, they heard of us. Hit the ground running on my hurry up. Landed on the green, first shot, just the birdie putt. And if you call me out, call it not a book. Alright guys, so that's the end of uh, day one at Junior Nationals. It's Friday, it's pretty late, and uh, I'm gonna make sure I get all my work done because we've had a long day. Was not anticipating the crazy traffic in Chicago, so it's like LA. It li we literally spent like a couple hours in traffic going to and from the gym, but the good part was we got to train with Ed Cohn, and uh, we made it back and got to get to Junior Nationals, saw all the girls compete, prejudging. And uh, then we went out and had a couple bites to eat. So overall a great day. Just um, some unanticipated time spent in a car. Um, which means i got to do a little work now. But hey, love what you do. You can do it all the time. So let's see what happens tomorrow at finals. And uh, what other kind of fun stuff we can get into. Yeah, we'll go then, baby. We'll go then. Yeah, about to see it shine. We'll go then.